Hi everyone, it's Asuka here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your nails longer using fiberglass sheets. Mixing fiberglass processed into sheet with gel can make very strong nails. I've detailed a simple method for extending length using this sheet, so be sure to watch until the end for full instructions. Okay, let's get started! I'll start by introducing this, a fiberglass sheet. This is a sheet made of strong fibers called fiberglass, used for applying to nails when extending their length. While this is also fiberglass, it's in a fluffy thread state. The one we are introducing today is a sheet made by intertwining fiberglass threads. As both are made of the same fiberglass, you can achieve strength with either of them. Thread type options are easier to fit onto the nail, but can be trickier to apply gel to. Whereas sheet type options, being thicker and stiffer, make gel application easier, but can pose challenges in shaping to match the nail's curve. In this other video, I show you how to extend your nails using the thread like fiberglass. After you watch this video, be sure to check out the other video to see which method suits you best. Alright, let's begin with preparing your natural nails first. If the white part of your natural nail is too long, it might get in the way of extending them, so try to trim it as short as you can. Once you perform nail care with a ceramic pusher, lightly file the surface of your nails, remove any oil with ethanol, and then apply a base coat and let it cure. Next, let's start by cutting the fiberglass sheet to match the width of your natural nails. First, place the sheet around the middle of your nail's length. Then, align the edge of the sheet with the side of your nail. Next, Press it to cover the entire width of the nail, measure across, and make a crease. Cut it longer than the desired length using scissors. Now, you have cut the sheet to fit your nail size. Ok, let's attach this sheet to the nail. Here, we'll use a base coat for better adhesion. Take about half the usual amount of base coat on the brush. Then apply it from the middle of the nail towards the tip, spreading it only on the tip side. This is only serving as the adhesive for attaching the sheet to the nail, so keep the application to a minimum. After applying the base coat, prepare the cut fiberglass sheet in tweezers. Since this fiberglass sheet has some stiffness, it will spring back even if you try to attach it. Therefore, we will use tweezers to hold it in place and cure it with a light while keeping it fixed. Ok, so now, place the sheet temporarily around this area at the highest point in the middle when viewed from the side. Next, using tweezers, slowly press and spread the sheet from the middle of the nail, gently sandwiching the sheet and nail together. Leave it like this and cure it under the light. If you are having trouble putting on the sheet, it's also fine to use plastic wrap over your nail to help it sit. Once cured, remove the tweezers. Next, we'll apply lengthening gel all over your nails. You can use your preferred hard gel or builder gel. You can use a regular base coat, but there's a risk of weakening the finish, so it's best to use a dedicated hard gel for lengthening whenever possible. Start by applying it to the area where the fiberglass sheet to ensure the gel seeps into the fibrous gaps in the sheet, 
Gently remove the brush up and down in small strokes as you apply it. Make sure to apply the gel not only the surface of the nail, but also underneath. As the gel seeps in, the white fiberglass sheet starts turning transparent. Once the sheet part becomes transparent, take the gel lift on the brush and spread it thinly along the base of your nails. We'll be layering the gel a few more times later on. So it's okay if it's still thin at this point. Once you've applied gel to the entire nail, cure it under the light for about 5 to 10 seconds. Once the gel is semi-cured, we'll do a process called pinching. If left like this, the stiffness in the sheet will result in a flat finish, which won't look great. Naturally, nails have a gentle curve, and this curve is what provides strength. So to achieve this curve, use tweezers to cover the width of the nail again while the gel is semi-cured. While holding down both sides of your natural nail, in the edge of the sheet with tweezers, gently curve the nail, and then cure it completely under the light for the specified time. Once cured, remove the tweezers. The extended part is still thin at this stage, so we'll start the layering process. After spreading the gel over the entire nail, turn your hand upside down and wait for about 5 to 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, return your hand to its original position. Then check for any bumps or irregularities on the nail surface and if it's good to go, cure it under the light. And then check the thickness of the lengthened part. If it still seems flexible and thin, apply another layer of gel to add thickness. If it no longer feels flexible when pressed and has gained thickness, proceed to the next step. Next, there is still some sticky and cured gel left on the surface of the nail, so let's start by wiping that off. Damp in a piece of kitchen paper with ethanol and wipe off any remaining uncured gel on the nail. Since there may be uncured gel on the underside of the nail, wipe this part as well. Once thoroughly wiped, use a file to shape the nail. First, adjust it to your preferred length. Once you've achieved the desired length, shape the tip of the nail. Shape it into a round or a square from according to your preference. After shaping the tip to your liking, file the surface of the nail to make it smooth. Glide the file in a circular motion along the curvature of the nail to smooth out any bumps. Once the nail surface is smooth, damp in a piece of kitchen paper with ethanol again and wipe away the filing residue. If you plan to have colored nails, proceed with the base coat, color gel, and top coat in that order. This time, we will finish simply by applying a top coat over it. Once you finish applying the top coat, 
secure it under the light. That completes the process. How did you find this video about lengthening your nails with fiberglass sheets? Unlike lengthening nails with gel alone, the addition of fiberglass sheets significantly increases strength. So I encourage you all to give this a go and experience the strength that fiberglass can bring. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. And if you like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.